If y'all uh, sing it, I want to thank my video crew as well, Sister Dupree and Sister Hill. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all.
morning, the message will be coming from one of our great, great associate ministers here. Uh, needs no introduction, can preach, sing. Young man can do it all. Amen. Has and can. So at this time, we're going to hear the preach word from Reverend Jesse L. Davis, Jr. Hear ye him. church said amen. amen. I am so happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning. When I came in and saw Elder Phillips, my heart got full knowing that God is still working. Amen. Then they sang my favorite songs, God is an awesome yes, God. He is. Yes, he is. Yes. I need the church to pray for my wife. But let me give you the real report. First of all, I need you to pray for my wife. She had to travel back home to New Orleans to care for her mother. And uh, we're just praying that God will intervene. Take care of that situation. But God is an awesome God. I got a phone call this week. And you know when you get that phone call, that drop phone call, the one that makes you stop everything you're doing. My ex-wife, my children's mother, and my oldest granddaughter both have had the coronavirus. By the grace of God, yeah. they're doing fine. God is so good. Yeah. God is so good. Yeah. I, I want to sing a little bit. I'm so glad to see the brothers all here this morning. I want y'all to help me just a little bit. All right. My hallelujah belongs to you. belongs to you. Oh, yeah. 
belongs to Yeah. 
what? He did. Now, I don't know about how it is at your house, but there ain't no man better than me in my house. That's right. I hear you. I don't know about y'all, but I, 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 I'm the big dog at the house. I don't have to worry about anybody come knocking my back at the door because I'm the dog. I'm the big man at the house. That's right. All right. All right. Saul was the king. Uh -huh. Now, what happened? Very simply, as we go back and we read all these, hey, from starting with the 17th all the way to the 26th, what happened? David had faith in God. That's right. Uh -huh. yeah. David believed that there was nobody better than God. Mm -hmm. David believed that there was no nation, no person, oh, no yeah. king, nobody was better than the God that he served. And when Goliath and the Philistines came, David said, you how dare you? That's how we need to be with our enemies. We need to be bold today because you know what? We deal with foolish people. Amen. Well, 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 David said to the king, the only thing David asked of the king, let me go. Yeah. He didn't ask for no armor. He didn't ask for no army. He didn't ask for praise. He didn't ask for no accolades. He said, let me go. Let me stand. All right, all right. Because the God that I serve yeah. will stand in me. Yeah. I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. I don't need a whole bunch of this and that and that and other. Just let me go with my faith. I'll trust that God will let us be That's victorious right. today. That's right. That's right. That's right. So as he went on, as he went on, as he went on, we all know the story of David and Goliath. The, the Bible says that he picked up a stone and he took a slingshot. He didn't take a hollow stone. He didn't use an AK-47. He didn't have to go and get a gap. He didn't have to go get a nine. He didn't have to go get the, and he didn't take nobody with him. He had faith. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, can we have that faith today? Oh, yes. in, 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 in the midst of our problems, yes. in the midst of our storms, in the midst of calamity, can we have that faith? Yes. Knowing that no matter what is before me, God's got my back. Yes. No, matter, no matter how hard it might seem, God's got me. And he said he did. He hit him. Uh -huh. Knocked him down. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. But David didn't realize that when we make one step, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. somebody know what I'm talking about. Yeah. When we make one step, yeah. and we think, don't, don't get complacent because you made that one step. Yeah. Because the devil didn't want you to make that step. Yeah. Never forget that the devil is always busy. Yes. Never forget that the devil, he has a job to do, and he is on the job 24-7. Why are you sleeping? <laughs> he's working. Yes. Why are you being complacent? He's still on the job. Yes. Why are you think you're being all melancholy and all that? The devil is still working. Yes. You try to bring out. Wake up in the morning and you try to figure out if it's going to be a good day and everything's going wrong. And all of a sudden you get that crazy phone call from somebody that you love. And all of a sudden they start talking, yang, 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 yang. And you're trying to figure out where in the world. Is this coming from? So what happened was, they, and this is just the introduction, they, they, all of a sudden, people start to be careful now. Stay over here, too. Stay right here. Be careful when people start carrying us back. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They start singing songs about me. Yeah. They, turn, they say, Saul killed his thousands. That's right. Come on. Because David right. killed his ten thousands. That's, That's right. 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 Now, David's hand didn't get pumped up. No. Be, be, be clear on that. David didn't get pumped up. People got pumped. Yeah. Be careful what people put you. The pedestal that they put you, you may not be able to stand up. That's right. Be careful about all of that. 
But David didn't get pumped up. But David, but Saul, Saul. got jealous. Now, I'm going to tell y'all a true story, and it's a sad story, but I'm going to tell you this true story. Right. And I'm going to, as they say in the government, I'm going to redact the names because it is a true story. All but right. just recently, two young ladies got into an altercation. Hmm. They got into an altercation that was so bad that what they did was one sat and wait for the other. Hmm. Because of something that was embedded in her mind. Hmm. Yes. Don't have to be the truth. Somebody know what I'm talking about. But a, 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 a seed was embedded in my mind that this other girl was trying to get in her name. This child chased this woman up and down the streets of here. Up and down. Got him on camera. And all of a sudden, the girl stops and the other one cuts her off. Now they get cars. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to tell you, she got two babies in the back. Mm -hmm. Because of a thought. Mm -hmm. Because of a seed yeah. that's been planted. Mm -hmm. All seeds that are planted are not conceived. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All seeds that are planted don't, don't, don't grow good fruit. That's right. What's the end result? Well, let me see. Vehicle manslaughter. No, no, uh, attempted. Child endangerment. The use of a vehicle for a deadly weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a couple of nights in jail. Mm -hmm. But she still got to go to court. My Lord, my Lord. Because of foolishness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saul chased David into the wilderness. 